22x here I decided that we want to try doing some Master Ball games This is going to be showcasing the team I'm going to be using against Nova Pro 81 for our streamer battles these Saturdays So what we have here is a beat up team Pretty much he's going to start either Terrakion or Kovalion and then Winsicott and what he's going to be doing is beat up his, his uh, Cobalion or Terrakion because they're going to be justified and the whole point of that is just to, you know, increase the attack. So this is going to be a gamble. We are going to be starting with Luxnorla and Riolu because I believe it's probably the best Pokemon we can use at the moment to beat that Cobalion uh, bulky enough to survive at least one attack because we should 2KO the Cobalion. And uh, we're just gonna hope for the best. So they Dynamax their Cobalion, we Dynamax our Snorlax, we get coaching, and then they are gonna be faster, which is very unfortunate, but they it should be still fine. The plus one defense should be helping us, and we are also Assault best. So yeah, right now this is the, what, the Winsley Cobb is gonna beat up Cobalion, and because of Justify, their attack grows, so they're gonna be plus three right now, and then do they get one more? Okay, so they get plus four attack right now. I believe. So they plus uh, the knuckle actually hurts um, a lot more than I expected. But they are now a plus five attack. We do our own max quake. We do not KO it, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, our Snowlar should be able to survive another one, especially with coaching once again. So we're gonna do. We're just gonna. We're actually gonna go with the. Hmm, actually, yeah, we, let's go with the Max Quake. Uh, we do coaching once more for the Snorlax. Winsicott does Bloom Best on uh, Riolu, but we have the Focus Dash, so we're good on that. They do Steel Spike, which I believe this is a mistake. I don't know if they were trying to just like up their defense, but because they did Steel Spike, we actually get the KO on them. So GG's on them. I do believe Snorlax is going to be dying either next turn. Or pretty soon because whatever they might bring is probably faster okay so they got Terrakion uh, so they could go I'm gonna protect my Riolu I I want Riolu alive for one more turn I don't think my Snorlax is gonna stay alive if it does we can do something but at this point I, I do believe Winsicott is just gonna go and kill it so Winsicott goes Moonblast actually wow we should probably had done one more coaching Actually, I, wonder, I do wonder if one more coaching will have kept our uh, Snorlax alive. But it doesn't matter. Riol is still alive one more time. So we get... We're gonna... While well, they didn't decide to do the beat up. Or maybe their Terrakion doesn't have to be used to five. Uh, we'll be weirded out because why else will you bring it? We get one more coaching. And then we're gonna just Grassy Glide. They're gonna actually to return it. Which is pretty smart. Because this... So they protect their Winsicott, which is fine because we're not going after it. That means that our Riolu gets to be alive for another turn. And this is very, very important. The fact that Riolu is staying alive for this long is actually to our advantage because I get another coaching. And then, unfortunately, because this is a choice ban, um, Rillaboon, Re I, I am locked on my current attack. But they're a, still okay because with the coaching, it makes it up. And the reason why we uh, decided to stay with Grassy Glide is because I want the priority. So Moonblast on my Riolo, which is absolutely fine. Uh, Riolo got two coachings for free. Uh, that barely does anything to us, even if it's super effective. So next turn, the Spore guy will be dying. We get Now we bring Comfy. And this is actually pretty nice, the fact that we're bringing Comfy. Because we're just going to heal up our real boon. And our Comfy is pretty tanky. So... Okay, they went with Protect, that's uh, very unfortunately, but whatever, we still get the healing, and this still works out for us, so I'm pretty happy about that. What is uh, Winsicott going on? Winsicott going to Moonblast me? Okay, that's fine. Special attack fail. Okay, it's whatever. So we're going to do probably Floral Healing, we don't need the Trick Room. We don't need to be faster, we're just going to try to kill the Mushroom, so they can bring their Chiraku now. We're just going to ignore the Winsicott, which is... Sometimes not the best decision to do. Sometimes like ignoring the Winsicor actually bites us in the uh, back. But in this case, I think I'm pretty comfortable saying let's ignore the Winsicor. Let's go to him because we should be able to KO his Terrakion. We should be coming out now. I 
really wonder why they didn't want to risk it because even with because they didn't have to dynamax the terrakion but yeah we're just gonna do another uh flora healing keep our Rillaboon alive because he's our only source of like attack right uh, if they don't focus on Rillaboon comfy comfy uh can still like do nothing like i will honestly try to kill my my uh, comfy because it's what's keeping my my Rillaboon alive so we get our grassy eye out we get that ko on terrakion so Moonblast onto Comfy, but it's too late for them for focusing on Comfy. To be honest, like if they had tried to keep attacking me, um, yeah. So I decided to just keep Grassy Glide. I do Trick Room just for the memes. That means uh, we both get an attack first before them, so it works out pretty well. I I do believe they're gonna start focusing on our Comfy, but the thing is, them focusing on our Comfy goes down on their side because I'm plus two attack and now we get the trick room up so not only do I go first on both of my pokemons actually comfy actually will have gone first with try and increase anyway which are the trick room it's actually maybe a misplay of my heart but regardless we get the win and I'm very happy about this uh, the Riolu the Riolu coaching works sometimes and it sometimes doesn't like, not a lot of teams bring Pokemons where they could, like, you know, KO my Riolo in the first turn, making it useless. I'm not a fan of always using it, because I'm still scared. But anyway, we go into our next battle. We got our... So this is another team I actually seen Cy uh, Iron Cybertron play. Uh, I believe they just showcased it in, uh, maybe yesterday or two days ago. Um... So, they're probably going to be bringing uh, Raichu and Pichurin. So, I'm just going to start Riolu Snorlax. It's uh, the most consistent. And then, I do want to win Comfy. I think Comfy will be pretty good against them. And, actually... No, actually, let's start... Let's start... Mm, let's actually start with Riolu Comfy. Let, let's, like... Yeah, let's do that. And then, we're actually not going to bring Riolu... And we're just gonna have two two heavy lifter supers in the back. Cause when I think about it, I I want the Aurora Bell as soon as I can, because they they might be hurting. Okay, so let's start with Target Keys and Cinderace, which is not too bad. It still works out pretty well. Uh, I will I was tempted to high force it, but I'm actually gonna return both my Pokemon's. I mean, return uh, Rillaboon, take out Snorlax out. Um, they might Dynamax. I think they should Dynamax uh, their Cinderace, but Comfy should be able to to leave because they're not gonna ignore it. And uh, I'm probably getting Trick Room out. It's very important. Now, the important question is whether or not they know to like go after Comfy instead. So they go over Snorlax. That actually hurts a lot. I was hoping to Dynamax Snorlax, but it's not the end of the world. We get a Dazzling Gleam. That's fine. We're probably gonna heal our Snorlax a little bit. We're just gonna waste their Dynamax turns. So it's actually still good. We're probably gonna try. Hmm. I think the smarter thing is target the Togekiss. So let's see if that actually kills the Togekiss. Otherwise, like I said, we're wasting Dynamax turns. Because we're not gonna dynam we're probably gonna Dynamax our Lapras in the back. We get almost full health on Norlex. They follow me, which is fine. We were actually gonna go after you anyway. We get the iron head. We do not KO it, but we should be able to KO it in the next turn unless they KO our Snorlax in this turn. And they do, they actually do KO our Snorlax, which just feels bad, man. Didn't we survive one max knuckle? No, it was a uh, airstream. Alright, so they're a plus one uh Plus one speed, plus one... What's the other thing? Something else. But anyway, uh, we're gonna resonance on the target case. Hopefully we kill it. And... So I shouldn't have... So I wanted to proc the weakness policy earlier. Um, but I think it will have been okay not procting it. Because they were gonna proc it the next turn. But I was hoping to get the kill onto target keys, And I wasn't sure if I would get it without that. But it's okay. 
we can do floral uh, floral hill in the next turn and uh, this is Cinderay's last GMAX turn they max knuckle we survive because of the rural veil they are plus two attack though however I do believe we probably could uh, kill them with a max lightning or max gazer in the next turn they got Pichurine. Um I'm a little scared that the Pichurine will actually go for I get for my Comfy. I um, honestly Comfy has been ignored this whole time, which is pretty nice. We're gonna go for floral healing. See if we can keep the Lapras alive for another turn. So let's see what they do. We get the floral healing, we get a good chunk back. Oof. Okay, the license. So they're slower. Wow. Or wait, maybe maybe it's a priority move. Actually, I'm not sure. Anyway, our Lapra still survives. They get a Lolan Raichu and a. Okay. So I don't know if my Lapras is gonna survive, but we're just gonna try. Get a max, you know, max wall. Get a max Gazer out, and then we're probably gonna try healing our Lapras again. Because keeping a Lapras alive as long as we can is pretty good. We get a Sucker Punch that barely hurts. So we get Lapras to go out again. We do. This is actually pretty unfortunate that we don't get the KO on Pichurin. Because now they get to attack us. And uh, Comfy thankfully survives. We do lose Trick Room at this point. I don't think I need to set Trick Room again. So we're just going to go Ice Bean. Hopefully we don't get KO. And... I should probably have tried Floral Healing, but I wanted to get the KO at least in one of his Pokemons because now he's just gonna rise in voltage. Yep. Lapras is gone, but this is actually not the worst. I do wish I need to put Ally Switching on uh, Comfy because this actually probably would be nice to like have just Ally Switch Comfy, keep the Lapras alive. So we probably just gonna U turn. And, uh, we don't need to trick room. I think I'm faster. So, we're just gonna Giga Drain. Right to shoot, focus on Comfy if I was them. Yep. Um, uh, and then, it doesn't matter though. We're probably gonna kill them. And they didn't go for it. And then we U-turn and kill. So, GG's, GG's. And then, okay, well, let's turn to our next battle. We have... Porygon, Polito, Gyarados, Togekiss, and Marowak, and Rillaboon. This is actually a really weird team. I don't know how I feel about it. So we're gonna do Lapras uh, Comfy this time. And then... Don't wanna bring Riolu. Uh, no, I definitely want Cinderace. And then, do I want Rillaboon? Mm, yeah, so we were not gonna bring Riolu. I don't think this team... Uh, works very well with the Riolo. I could be wrong, but we're gonna hope for the best and see how this goes. So they go Rillaboom and Togekiss. We got Lapras Comfy. Okay, so here's the important thing is that we at least get the max resonance. We're gonna deal with Togekiss first because I think that's more dangerous. And then we're gonna try doing Trick Room. But they actually uh, Dynamaxed you. And who did they Dynamax? Okay, so they, they Dynamaxed the Rillaboom. And... Which is interesting. I didn't expect the, the Dynamax right away from them. Okay, so we're gonna get Max Resonance. What are they gonna go for? So they get a Helping Hand on Rillaboom. Oh my god. So they go for our Comfy. Which... It's actually pretty smart. Like, if I was then, I would be like, I will I will get comfy. Because we don't get the... I don't think we get the KO on uh, Togekiss. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. We don't get the KO on Togekiss. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world because we can... Uh, just kill the Togekiss. And... Actually, let, let's, let's get some hits on the... On the Rillaboon. No. No, actually... Let's KO the Togekiss and then we're gonna U-turn the Rillaboon. We're gonna go for helping him again. 
They should be going for our Lapras. Oh, and Lapras barely survives. Lapras barely survives, guys. That's actually pretty, pretty big oof. So, that's actually still good, though. But I think Lapras is going to be dying next turn. Got the target key, so at least he won't have helping hand. Which, man, I actually didn't know target keys could get happy helping hand. And it's pretty sucky for us, but I think it's still winnable. We we have to play a little bit more careful right now. So our next Pokemon is Porygon. They're Dynamax to have Oh, it's not send it. I saw it in it. So we're gonna max guard just in case. And then ours if we don't miss the pirate wall, Rillaboom should be dead. Yeah, Rillaboon is dead. And who are they gonna try attack? Oh, they actually try to attack and get the Frozen or and Cinderace. Man, that's such a waste of Dynamax. Ugh. I really thought they were going to try going for my Lapras. Okay, so they have Gyarados. Mm. Is that... We're just going to Ice Beam the Gyarados and then... I'm going to protect... You know what? Let, let's try it. We're Frozen Solid. That's very uncomfortable. Oh, they have Airquake. Oh, of course they have Earthquake. I have Earthquake on my own Gyarados before. And they're, but they're a Moxie one. Alright, I am very impressed. Extremely impressed that um, Lapras survived with 1 HP. That actually is really clutch, the fact that Lapras survived with 1 HP. So we got Rillaboon, and here, here's the thing. We have to go first. So we're going to protect Lapras, and then... Uh, we have to go first. We're going to Grassy Glide Gyarados. Ah, and then they protect you. Feels bad, man. And then they use Trick Room. Oh, double Field Man. Okay, so the red there was pretty good. And then we actually lost our Aurora Bell by now. Um, I do think, unfortunately, uh, that's, when the, that's when I should have attacked um, Porygon. And, man, that just feels bad, man. We at least get the Gyarados. So here, here's the tricky thing. Okay, I'm stuck with Grassy Glide, which is not the worst attack, but its use is like not as good anymore because they also go faster and that hurt. All right, so we gotta crit that. Like, we have to crit that twice or something. So, so what the Porygon has to be doing is just uh, timing the recovers because all I can do is literally Grassy Glide. There's nothing else I can do. So. Uh, the moment they decide to attack me instead of like recovering, that's the moment I win. So here, here's the actual. They should have like, unfortunately, like Trick Room is gone and they couldn't get. I would have, you know, done another recover to be at healthy, but I win this battle, and that's uh, three wins for our Master Ball uh, new team. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and we're back to the initial rank we were. Because uh, we did play some games with it before it. So I'm really happy. And I'm pretty excited for my Battle of Nova. But guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys have any teams you want me to try out, more than happy. Always looking for new teams to try out now. Uh, until next time, bye!